Hey everyone. Um, this is going to be a review on pregnancy week 38. I'm 38 weeks and 6 days today. Um, I went to the doctor on Thursday and because I've been going every Thursday now and you'll have to excuse me. I just woke up not long ago so um, and haven't been sleeping really well. But uh, anyway, I went to the doctor on Thursday and the previous Thursday, um, I was only like a faced a little bit. <laughs> he didn't even give me a percentage, but I wasn't dilated at all. And then um, the Saturday after that, I started having like a lot of pressure and um, like back pain and stuff. And it, but it wasn't like contraction, like it was just constant. It was like, um, like kind of period cramping and um, was more constant also. I wasn't having like real contractions or anything like that. But um, I had that, I mean, until pretty much I've had that since then. Uh, I told my doctor about that. Anyway, um, Thursday I was, he said a fingertip dilated. So I guess some of that pain and pressure kind of, uh, was working on my uh, dilating my cervix and at first I was kind of um, disappointed when he said I was only a fingertip dilated because I'd had so much pressure and stuff and I just knew that I was going to be at least two centimeters but then I was thinking about it and I was like well at least I had some kind of change you know it could have been no change so anyway um, so that was on Thursday when I went to the doctor and he said that I was fingertip dilated and I go back this Thursday. Um, well, Friday morning, I got up and lost my, I lost my mucus plug, or at least part of it. I don't really know how much of it there is, but it came out in, like, separate times. So, I'm not sure that the whole thing is missing yet. But, um, and I just had a lot of pressure and stuff, and I've been still having a lot of pressure. And last night, I started uh, noticing, like, waves of, um, like, pressure and not really pain. I wouldn't, it's more like a discomfort feeling, but um, I still started timing them. And that was, like, about 11.20 last night, and I timed them until, like, 2 o'clock in the morning for about two and a half hours, and they were consistent, like, five minutes apart, five to six minutes apart. Um, I wasn't timing like the exact second they started. I just would look at the clock number. So I would say they were probably about five minutes apart. And they were only lasting on average about 45 seconds. Um, and I even tried, most of those were while I was sitting down. I drank water and I, and I had eaten something. And... Um, I'm sorry. I'm still really tired. It's hard for me to think right now. Um, I even stood up because it said maybe, like, if it's just Braxton Hicks, if you change your position or eat or drink, it, you know, they might go away. So I stood up for a couple of them, and they happened exactly when I knew they were going to happen. And it was just like, I just, uh, this tightening um, feeling, and, um, it's stronger than the Braxton Hicks that I had been having. Like the week before, I was having them every 10 minutes apart. But only for maybe an hour. And then they would go away. But they weren't pain. They didn't have any kind of pain or pressure with them. Um, like the ones I had last night. But anyway, I was, when I stood up, I could actually feel my belly lifting up. It was getting so tight. It was actually like it was lifting. It was really weird. But then I just have a lot of pressure down there. And, um, so I don't know, I, I just went ahead and went to bed because they weren't getting more intense or anything, they weren't getting closer together, and, um, I also tried laying down, now when I laid, that's one reason I went to bed is because when I laid down, it was hard for me to f really feel them, like I was still feeling them, but it was almost like they were farther apart or something, so then I was like, well, I guess they're just Braxton Hicks. But I went to bed. And there were a few times when I actually went to bed, I was timing them. And they were still about six, five or six minutes apart. 
and then I just went to sleep because the it really wasn't bad as far as the pressure. But there were a few times in the middle of the night that I woke up because of of the of being in pain, really. Um, not excruciating pain or anything, nothing that I couldn't handle. It was mainly just like intense pressure and um, discomfort. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I got up early this morning because I couldn't sleep anymore. I only slept like five hours. But um, I've been timing them since and it's still the same. It's like five minutes. So I don't know like how often or how long they're supposed to be five minutes apart if you're in true labor. I'm assuming I'm not because from everything I've read and what people say, they say you know when you're in labor. So I think it just might be like pre-labor or something. But that's been what's going on. And I want to call the doctor when they open and just tell them and see what they say. I mean, I'm sure, I don't want to go to the hospital and then tell me to go home. So that's one reason I, don't know, I didn't do anything last night because I figured they probably would send me home. So I'd rather just wait it out at, how, at home as long as I can. So we'll see. I'm going to call. And if I don't have them before Thursday, I'll get to go to, to another doctor's appointment. <laughs> so um, I would like to have them today, maybe. <laughs> We'll see. Um, I'll keep everybody posted as far as, you know, what's said or whatever. I'll put it on my Facebook um, what the doctors say. But that's all, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.